Hello friends, welcome to another session of Super Learning Bites in Doc Tutorials. Yes, today this is a newborn who has not passed meconium for 24 to 48 hours of life. You have a high index of suspicion of first prong disease. You do a berry minima. This berry minima is the investigation of choice for first prong disease. What do you see in berry minima? A proximal dilated segment which is innervated an intermediate segment or the transition zone which is hypoganglionated and the lower segment which is aganglionated which is a narrow zone. So Berry Minima investigation of choice in a child suspected to have a Hirschsprung disease was not past meconium for 24 to 48 hours. A proximal dilated segment which is ganglionated an intermediate zone which is hypoganglionated also known as the transition zone and the distal bowel which is aganglionated which is narrow. This is also known as a tunnel funnel appearance of Kremer. Tunnel funnel appearance of Kremer, classical name given to the bowel, the imaging suggestive of a Hirschsprung's disease. So Hirschsprung's disease, very minima, investigation of choice, proximal dilated segment, intermediate transition zone and a distal narrow aganglionated segment. The gold standard anyways is always rectal biopsy.